talk about something manly for a moment. Yeah, tweezers. We need them. Come on. Well, guys, we're getting older. You gotta pluck into your hair or whatever it happens to be. Yeah, let's not get into the details. Well, until Rogue Hose starts cutting these from plow discs, I've got something that's gonna work. Everybody's got them kicking around their shop. What do you do with those old rusty files? Well, today, I'm gonna turn mine into some tweezers. Here are my dimensions for how I made mine. You could, of course, make many variations of your own if you wanted. The chunk of file I used was uh, two and a half inches. I uh, used a one millimeter cutoff disc, and then for the center portion, I just ground it out with a standard two and a half millimeter grinding disc. That cuts the opening. I used the two and a half millimeter disc, and I grind back as far as I can go, and uh, I just left about three eighths of an inch at the butt. After it's cut, shaping is simple. You could even do this with a bench grinder or a uh, flap wheel if you didn't have a sander like this one. I'm cutting out these small notches so that the tweezers are easier to squeeze. Uh, otherwise these are quite stiff. You'll have to grind these and just kind of feel as you go along. You'll see I'll fine tune them later. If you get them too thin, they're going to be too soft, they're not going to spring, they're not going to return back. Of course, if you don't grind them enough, they're going to be really, really tough to, to squeeze. Okay, I'm checking the tension. Just start to give it a little bit of shape, make it a little more comfortable. I'm using 36 grit paper and I'm not too worried about uh, ruining the temper on this file, so uh, I'm moving pretty quickly. It doesn't take very long to do this. As long as you keep this dipped and cooled, you won't burn your fingers. So here I'm just kind of rounding the, rounding the edges. I'm going to switch over, change to a paper that's a little higher grit. Start to smooth it out a bit. Around the butt. Again, just to make it a little more comfortable in the hand. That way you can place that right in the palm and squeeze nice and hard. Uh, these really just are the best tweezers you're, you're ever going to own. Uh, you can dig right down to the bone if you need to. It's pretty frightening how sharp they are. My first pair has uh, lasted me, I want to say about eight years. I still got them, but uh, now that we've got multiple bathrooms in the house, it'd be nice to have them all over the place. Plus, I'd like to have one up here in the office. So I'm going to start shaping the tip a little bit. The zip tie here will help me to round this to a point. There are two very important steps to making this. This is one of them. Let that tip 
tip to match up as it's squeezed. Smoothing out here with uh, 80 grit. Two four. Really starting to take its shape now. Let's see how it's pretty rounded. Still got a lot of that texture on there. I think it makes it look pretty neat, and uh, it's really nice if you've got sweaty or slippery hands. Uh, they're not gonna just pop out of your fingers. And you can make these as rough or as attractive as you like, but I like to keep some of those uh, some of those teeth from the file just so you know where it came from and what it looks like. So here I'm just testing uh, testing the pinch and it's still a little too firm uh, but they're nice and sharp which is really good. You can see it just peels a layer of skin right off the outer layer. So the second very important step, which I really couldn't capture as I was grinding, uh, is to sand the internal portion of these tweezers. Here's what I mean by that. When your belt is on your sander and it's running, you're gonna slide the tweezers in along the side and pinch a few times. Cool it down, flip it over, do the same on the other side. Just make sure that, uh, I mean, what you're, what you're getting at here is that when the tweezers are completely collapsed, that the area, I would say the last, uh, just eighth of an inch right there, is flat, and those two surfaces are touching. If that doesn't happen, uh, say if you, if you were digging into your finger there, and you were trying to pull out a splinter, when you would grab that and squeeze it, you would actually just cut it because the tip is so sharp. So that's why flattening it, just that little bit at the end there, is really, really important. 